All right, in the previous video, we grazed over the word molarity. And sometimes, instead of saying molarity, we shorten it to say molar. You just need to understand that molar refers to moles over liters, meaning how many moles are in a single liter of solution. This is going to help us better understand pH, because pH is determined by the concentration of H plus ions or hydrogen ions in water. By the way, you're going to hear me say the word H plus, hydrogen ions, protons, these are all the same things. They're interchangeable. pH is a concept that simplifies how we measure if a solution is acidic or basic. If someone didn't invent the pH, we would instead be working with raw hydrogen ion concentration numbers, meaning lots of zeros. So pH stands for the power of hydrogen, and it has its own formula based on if you know the concentration of hydrogen ions or the pH number. Check out the formula here. This is the main formula everyone uses to calculate between H plus concentration and pH levels. It says that pH is equal to the negative of the base 10 logarithm of H plus ions. What's going on? Am I supposed to just memorize this? And the answer is yes. Yes, you should. Let's dive into the components of the formula and maybe that will help you better stick it to memory. Now I know this is a biology course, but I'm going to have to throw in some math concepts. It'll help engrave and promote the step-by-step -step process in your mind. So the word log is actually short for logarithm. And a logarithm is like, well, it's a different way of looking at exponents. In fact, it's simply a rearrangement of an exponential expression. Like, for example, 1 times 10 to the 23rd, or 1 times 10 to the negative 3.4. First thing you'll notice here is that this pH formula is equal to a negative value. There's also this one thing after log that's not shown here, it's called the base 10. It's a standard number and it can be anything you want it to be. You can make it 3, 5, 100, as long as you write it in. But when you have a log and you don't see a base after it, we assume that by default, it's 10. After that, you also have H+, which is enclosed in some square brackets, and those square brackets simply mean that whatever that's inside is a concentration. So in this case, H+, is considered in terms of its concentration. H plus's concentration usually exists in lots of decimal places, like 0. 0.0000 something. If I were to give you a liter of pure water, its hydrogen ion concentration, its molar concentration, would be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. And if you plugged it into this equation, into this pH log equation, pure water has a pH of 7. Now that we know the answer to pure water, it would be good practice to work it out using the pH formula. I want to show you proof that the formula actually does work. Let's say that we're given the concentration of H+, and we're being asked, what's the pH? So we would plug in the concentration of H+, like so, assuming they told you that it was 1 times 10 to the negative 7. By the way, don't forget that negative sign in the powers it makes a huge difference. Now if you plug this into your calculator exactly as you see it, negative log, open parentheses, 1 times 10. Now there's a symbol called caret, which looks sort of like an upside down V on your calculator, or you might have a fancy calculator that has the symbol 10 with an X slightly above it to the right. Just remember though that it's to the power of negative 7. Plug it in and what do you get? You get 7 as the pH. Fantastic! Now what if the question instead gives you the pH number of pure water, which is 7 by the way, and asks for the H plus concentration? We're going to have to rearrange the formula a bit to make it easier to visualize. Now most calculators don't have the function antilog, which would make things super easy. What we need to do now is to understand how the log function works. We work backwards. Since pH is 7, we plug it in like so. Let's simplify it further, because conceptually, it's kind of hard to understand what a negative log really is. So let's divide both sides by negative 1. That will negate the negative on the log side, but it will also put a new negative on the 7. 
Now we have negative 7 equals log base 10 of h ions. Remember when I said that logs are simply just a rearrangement of exponential expressions? Let me give you a few conversion examples from exponential expressions to log expressions and vice versa. Let's say 10 to the power of 3 would equal 1000. But what you'll be surprised about to see is that we can rearrange the numbers into a logarithmic form. Log of base 10 of 1000 actually equals 3. Punch the first half of the equation into your calculator and you'll see that this is absolutely true. The answer is 3. Here's another more complicated version. 10 to the power of negative 2.3 would equal 0.00501872. Let's see what it looks like as a logarithm expression. Log of base 10 of 0.00501872 equals negative 2.3. Base 10 from the log is the same 10 from the exponential equation. This long decimal number is the same number that results from 10 to the power of negative 2.3. The resulting negative 2.3 here is the same as the power of negative 2.3. This 10 to the power of negative 2.3 is 0.00501872. Make sure you understand this because this is an easy way to figure out the concentration of H plus when you are given just the pH. If you still don't get it, please ask and leave a comment below. But let's get back to the original topic regarding acids and bases. Let's go back to the H plus concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 7, which has a pH of 7. Now one thing that confuses some people is the power to a negative number. Now the lower the negative number, the bigger the number, and thus the higher the concentration. What that means is the pH number has an inverse relationship with the H plus ion concentration. So Numbers larger than 1 times 10 to the negative 7 can be, for example, 2 times 10 to the negative 7, or even 1 times 10 to the negative 6. And for the sake of explaining this, let's take 10 to the negative 2 versus 10 to the negative 3, which is larger. So 10 to the negative 2 is 0.001, while 10 to the negative 3 is 0.0001. So 10 to the negative 2 is actually larger than 10 to the negative 3. A pH of less than 7 is considered acidic, while a pH greater than 7 is considered basic. So let me reiterate, the higher the concentration of H ions in a solution, you know, the molarity, the higher the acidity, the lower the pH. This is due to the fact that acidic molecules tend to release and donate H ions, creating a solution with more H ions in it. The lower the H concentration, the more basic the solution, the higher the pH. And that's because these solutions have an overwhelming concentration of bases that tend to accept those H plus ions in the solution. But overall, pH is a convenient way to compare concentrations of H ions in a solution. One other thing, changes in pH, for example, from 6 to 7 is a multiple of 10, meaning that as the pH moves from 7 to 6, it's now 10 times more acidic than it was before because it has 10 times the amount of H ions than it did before. If the pH moves from 7 to 5, that would now mean it's 100 times more acidic, and from 7 to 4, is a thousand times more acidic, and so on. And yes, it does go backwards as well with basic solutions. Pure water at a pH of 7 is used as the standard middle ground between acids and bases. We consider it neutral. Okay, so that was super long. In the next video, we'll talk about how cells keep their balance between acids and bases by maintaining their internal environment and regulating pH levels. Thank you for watching, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, share it with a friend, got any questions, let me know, comment below, thanks again for watching, peace.